Well, I haven't done a Laowa lens review in a long while now, but this one is certainly exciting. Now, years ago, they released a 9mm f2.8 manual lens for Sony APS-C, and that lens was amazing because it was, at the time, the widest rectilinear APS-C lens that you can buy, and many people bought it, including myself, and it was awesome. But what they've done here is now they've made a 10mm f2.8 autofocusing full frame lens. And this is not a fisheye, this is a rectilinear, that means straight lines, 10 millimeter. Now the equivalent of this would be a 6.5 roughly millimeter on an APS-C that's not a fisheye, which would be absolutely insane. I don't know how they've done it, but this is very exciting because if you're looking for an autofocusing ultra wide angle lens, then this is certainly one to check out. So. Let's begin. It comes in this nice box with new idea, new fun on the side. Indeed. Magnetic flap reveals some padding and paperwork, warranty and instruction manual, a little silica gel, and then the lens. Plastic front and rear lens caps, and that's it. The lens design is excellent in my opinion. It comes in this gray-blue color, which I'm a fan of. The whole thing is made out of metal and glass, and as a result, it isn't some light, cheap-feeling lens. It comes in at 420 grams, less than a pound, and with a great focus ring, which I'll discuss in a second. Starting at the rear, there is a metal mount with electronic connections, as well as a clear weather sealing gasket. At the top, there is a 10 d which stands for zero distortion, and f2.8 autofocus here, AF MF switch, and a Laowa logo on this side. The manual focus ring is excellent feeling, super smooth with excellent dampening, nicely finished straight ridges here, and two flat spots here with Laowa imprinted, which is nice for muscle memory, I suppose, if you're going to use the manual focus. There is a blue ring around the front of the focus ring and a removable super shallow rose petal lens hood. Around the front, there is a relatively small front lens element, lens specs on top, and a Laowa logo on the bottom. This Ultra wide also has a 77 millimeter filter thread around the front, which is a rarity among ultra wide full frame lenses, so that's a plus. Inside, there are 15 elements in nine groups, a five bladed diaphragm, and an autofocus system that I don't have any specs about. Mounted on my A7C, it's a nice setup, portable, and it feels premium. But looks only get you so far. Now let's see what this lens is capable of mounted on my Sony a7C. Now as I'm talking about these shots, all of these are straight out of the camera, unedited, unprocessed, uncorrected. This is what you can expect with no picture profiles if you just use this lens on your full frame camera. So. Let's begin. The images with this lens are dramatic. It's hard to describe just how wide this is because it doesn't come across in every frame. One thing I noticed is that you do have to adjust your angles a bit because if you shoot at a level angle, you will capture quite a lot of the ground or the road. So I tended to shoot upward a lot, but then you don't get those straight lines along the edges. They're straight, they're just angled. Anyway, sharpness is excellent. In the center, it's very sharp, and for most of the frame, it's excellent up until the very corners, where you can see the image does get a little dark, a bit soft, and on occasion, you do get some chromatic aberrations in these corners as well. The colors look great, and the contrast is pretty good for the most part. When you shoot into the sun, there is some chromatic aberration, and there is some loss of contrast, and some flaring, and ghosting, and rainbow artifacting, as you can see here, which is a little bit of a weak point for this lens. Not the worst that I've seen, but it's not the best either. And if you are shooting outside with an ultra wide, there are times it's hard to keep the sun out of the shot, so this is something to note. Minimum focus on this lens is a remarkable 12 centimeters from the sensor, so you can basically touch a subject with the front of your lens hood and still take a photo and it will be in focus. And if you do, you get some bokeh. It's smooth too, looks good, not distracting. Now, when it comes to autofocus, I had absolutely no issues. The focus motor is silent, accuracy is great, speed is excellent. I didn't have any moments of focus hunting, and even when it got dark, it was still performing well. I will say there is a bit of exaggerated focus breathing, so if you want an ultra-wide lens for focus pulling purposes, this isn't it. But if you want a vlogging lens that captures a ton of your background, this lens can do it. It tracks well, and it gives you a unique perspective, and you don't even need to extend your arm all the way. If you have a camera with active stabilization with a crop, that will make it a less dramatic field of view, and so it might work perfectly for that purpose. I will say the girth does get in the way, at least on my a7C, so this lens doesn't leave much space for your fingers, but otherwise it was a joy to use and a fun lens to walk around and capture exterior real estate with.
with. And that's really what I use this lens for mostly. I think that as a real estate photography lens, this would be a little bit too wide. It would be deceptively wide. It would make rooms look twice as big as they actually are in real life. Uh, so unless you're trying to get a shot of a very tight bathroom or a closet, something like that, it wouldn't really be an ideal real estate lens. And you can use something like this for astrophotography, but I don't know that you would need something this massively wide on a full frame camera. This is one of those lenses that people will pick up for that super wide dramatic look. And it's not something that you can easily imitate. Now there are other wider, even nine millimeter full frame lenses, but they're manual. Uh, so this is a very unique lens. I'd say it's kind of in a class of its own, even though it does have a couple of competitors. And I do think that even though it has a couple of those drawbacks, those drawbacks are certainly overshadowed by the fact that optically it's pretty brilliant in 95% of the frame and it gives you that dramatic look. It gives you the macro focusing capability of being able to focus super close on your subject and kind of create these larger than life snapshots. Pricing is $800, which is a lot, but it's not a lot in the world of super ultra wide angle autofocusing full frame lenses. I think that Lawa did a very good job pricing this competitively because I think that they could have asked a thousand or $1,100 just because there's not that many competitors out there that can give you this in this package with this excellent build quality for that price. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'm curious to see how well this lens will sell, if it goes crazy, if people love it. And I'm curious what your thoughts are, so leave those down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all of your comments, all of your likes and your support. Stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.